Assalamu alaikum. Hello everyone. My name is Ishan Rahat Qureshi. I'm the CEO and founder of High Achievers League. So today we are going to talk about the format of the GRE exam. So let's get on with it. Okay, so GRE stands for Graduate Record Examination. An American organization known as ETS, that stands for Educational Testing Service, owns GRE and manages it. So students sometimes confuse between GRE and TOEFL and IELTS. So let me tell you, TOEFL and IELTS are language exams, whereas GRE is an aptitude test. So what they want to know is whether when you are applying for master's or PhD in an American university, whether you are capable of studying at that level. So GRE measures that. OK. All right. So let's talk about the format. When you start your GRE exam, the first section that you see is analytical writing. Now, analytical writing is the portion of the test where you type two essays. Why do I say you type two essays? That's because uh, GRE is a computer based exam. So when you register for GRE, uh, you will pick up a center for uh, where you would be taking your exam. So when you go to the center, you will be assigned a computer where you actually uh, spend around four hours doing your GRE test. All right. So in the analytical writing section, you have to type two essays. One essay is called analysis of an issue essay. For that, you'll be given 30 minutes. And the other essay is called analysis of an argument essay. For this essay, again, you'll be given 30 minutes. So how is your essay score? So for each of those essays, there are two graders who score your essays. So generally, these graders are TAs working part time in a university. So for each essay, your score is the average that you get from the two graders. So if there is a difference of more than one point between the two graders, then there's a third grader who grades your essay. All right. So your overall score is between zero to six that you see in your score report. So this is the average of the two essays and your overall score for the two essays that you see on the GRE report, zero being the worst and six being the best. So what's in the content of the essays and what kind of tasks you are given to do, we'll discuss in some other video because today I just wanted to focus on the format of GRE. Okay, so when you are done with your essays, then um, you start getting the quantitative and verbal sections. So the first section that you see after the essay, it may be a quant section or it may be a verbal section. Quantitative section is your math portion of the exam and verbal section is your English portion of the exam. So as you can see in this chart, uh, you'll be having two quant sections for sure. In each quant section, you will get 20 questions and there will be 35 minutes. OK, so this means that for each question, you will have one minute and a few seconds. The scoring of the quant is between 130 and 170. So 130 is the minimum that you can get in quant. And if you do not answer any question uh, correctly, then you will get 130 and 170 is the maximum that you can get. Uh, in verbal sections, again, you are going to get two sections. Um, the number of total questions that you get in verbal is 20 and the time that you get is 30 minutes. So again, you have one minute and a few seconds to do each question in verbal. Again, the scoring of the verbal section is the same 130, the minimum that you can get and 170, the maximum that you can get. So these two quant sections and two verbal sections, they make up a total of four sections. But sometimes what ETS does is it may give you they may give you an extra section. So that extra section may be a quant section or it may be a verbal section. So whenever there are five sections, one of those sections is not scored. But you as a student will not know which section will not be scored. So this fifth section may or may not be included. But if it's included, uh, don't worry about it. Just do each question in each section as it as if it will be scored. So why this fifth section is given if it's given that's for ETS's internal purposes for their internal experimentation so you don't need to worry about it again and um, just do your test with full focus all right so what about the overall score that you get in GRE so your quant score is added in your verbal score and that gives you 
the total score, the total overall GRE score. So let's suppose you get 130 in quant and 130 in verbal, which you should never get. That's because um, this means that you actually did not do any question correctly. So anyways, if you get these two scores, then your total score is going to be 260. So this is the minimum that you can get in GRE. And if you get 170 in quant and 170 in verbal, then your total score is 340. And that's the maximum that you can get in GRE. So this is what I wanted to discuss today, the basic format of GRE. So before we end, let me uh, give you our website address, which is www.haleague.com. And our email address is info at haleague.com. If you have any questions, you can shoot us an email. And our um, number, our telephone number is plus 92-321-412-9411. Thank you so much for joining in. And until next time, 